Uh, buenas noches, good evening. Um, I, I should start with uh, an apology to my uh, tennis team. In a few hours they're going to play a competition match and I'm uh, standing them up. Uh, I trust they, uh, they understand why. Um, when I uh, received the email that I was uh, nominated, uh, first, of course, I thought somebody was uh, playing a uh, nasty trick on me. But when I started to believe it was, uh, it was real, I, um, I went to the website of the uh, Hall of Fame and uh, looked at uh, previous inductees. I, I know a number of them. I know of a lot of them. Um, but what struck me most was that there were so many people that I've worked with through the years and that are incredibly talented and uh, that have done so much to advance the internet that are not in that list. And, um, and I, I guess I, I'm very lucky that uh, the, the people that nominated me and the advisory committee um, decided that uh, I was worthy of this, uh, this honor. Um, I think I've been lucky throughout my career, um, starting um, uh, with uh, Robert Jans at Groningen University, later um, Hall of Famer Kees Neggers at Surfnet, Jane Butler at Cisco, and um, uh, another Hall of Famer, Erik Huizer, first at Surfnet and now already for, uh, for a few years at, at Geant. And, um, and I'm very grateful to have had the luck to work with them being stimulated to look at new things, uh, to always look for ways to, to improve uh, the internet. Um, I'm also standing here a little bit with, with mixed feelings, I have to say. I, um, uh, I'm very proud of having had the ID uh, of, of EduRome. Um, at the same time, I don't con consider myself as the one that contributed most uh, to, the, uh, to the advancement of, uh, of EduRome. There are many out there. And I'm going to mention a few names. Um, to start with uh, Paul Deckers, who came as a uh, student to me uh, and asked if I had an ID for, uh, for a graduation uh, assignment. And uh, he, uh, he then uh, built the first proof of concept and is, uh, and is still around uh, almost 20 years later and very much involved and, and actually the uh, current chair of the Global Edurome Governance Committee. Um, there is uh, Licia Florio, who was at the time Terena, now Géant, and uh, who did a lot to... Um, to, to bring Edurome outside the Netherlands and to the rest of Europe. Um, later on, she, uh, she took one uh, for the team and uh, agreed to marry me. And, uh, and she's uh, the, the mother of our, our daughter, Lara. Um, Miroslav Milinovic, uh, who turned Edurome from a, uh, a plaything for, uh, for uh, nerds into a true service that can really be used by, uh, by students all over the world. Uh, and, uh, and last but not least, Stefan Winter, who is the, uh, the technical um, man behind uh, all the Edurome development in the past uh, 10 years or so, and who has uh, contributed uh, tremendously to uh, making sure that, uh, that Edurome was uh, fit for purpose. Um, but as I said, um, it is the work of many, many, by now thousands of people. And I think that is, uh, that is for me the most important thing and that's what I'm most proud of. That is that um, there is no central authority, there is no central institution that made this happen across the world. This is really, truly a grassroots thing where people all over the world decided to make their own resources, their own network available uh, and throw it in the, in the big pool uh, for the greater good of all. And I, I think that is something that, uh, that I'm very proud of. I think it is something that the r and &E community is still um, very good at. Um, not so much competition, but more collaboration. And I think the internet uh, needs a lot more of that, uh, especially in these times where um, governments uh, make it a habit to spy on uh, foreigners and their own people. Um, 
if I can make one, uh, one wish for the future, then uh, I think it is uh, to those of you out there that have ideas to make the internet just a little bit better, just a little bit safer, just a little bit more user-friendly, to go after it and do it. Don't think about how big something may become. That's usually not how it works. It was definitely not the way it worked for me. I was just trying to solve my own problem and uh, that I helped others with it uh, was, uh, was just uh, very nice. Um, and if you are in the position to support somebody that comes to you with one of those at, at first glance small ideas, then please support them. Don't ask immediately where the, the billion dollar market is. Don't immediately ask how that's going to make you a lot of money or uh, lots of patents or whatever, but try to help them, encourage them in trying to th things out and uh, and make the internet a better place. Thank you.